Hey guys, this is Ravi Sagar. Welcome to slash note.in. Today I'll tell you how to create a contact form in Drupal. <clears throat> well, if you are <clears throat> creating a website in Drupal, then you would probably want your visitors to contact you. And <clears throat> contact form is a very simple way to do it, which you can place on the website and uh, people can if they want they can fill this form and contact you so here you can see uh, it is a typical example of a contact form which comes by default in drupal and uh, you really don't need to configure much in this module you you, you just need to enable this module and uh, that's it <laughs> and uh, you, you you just need to enter your email address and uh, probably the acknowledgement message that you want to send to your visitors when they fill the form so i'll show you how to do it so uh, a typical contact form in drupal will have the following fields first is the name second is the email address third is the subject and fourth one is the message so once uh, you enable the contact form you will automatically get these fields in the form and uh, there are other, other modules uh, on drupal.org which you can use to add your own fields in the contact form i'll uh, probably create a another video for you and show you how to do it but in this video i'll show you how to create a form like this so for First of all, you need to go to the module section of the Drupal site and uh, we need to enable this module. Since this module is uh, uh, is already there, you don't, you don't really need to download any module file from the Drupal.org website. So here you see this contact module is there in the core. So you can simply enable this so let me save this configuration and uh, this module will be enabled and uh, one thing you need to take care when you uh, are using this contact form is that your web server the server where you will be hosting your website should have e should have you know a mail server because for sending these mails from the contact form or or any mails that are being sent by your Drupal website would require a mail server. And if you are using some uh, hosting these days on uh, like Dreamhost or WebFaction or maybe GoDaddy, uh, there are many uh, services. Probably they will come with a mail server. So you, you don't really need to worry much about it if you are using uh, any hosting these days but this is something you need to take care okay so this module is now enabled so let me configure it so there is a link here which says configure I'll click on it okay here you go here uh, I can see that uh, one category is automatically there when I enable this module so uh, I, I would reuse it simply I will not create another category I can also but uh, let me just edit the existing default category which comes so I, I want to name it to something else I want to name it contact me and uh, Hey, and you can specify which uh, email address will be used to receive the emails that will be sent from the contact form. So by default, uh, the the email the email address which comes here is the default email address of the website. But you can also add your uh, add another, or maybe you can remove it completely. You can add two IDs here. You need to separate the IDs with the comma. And uh, here you can specify the 
auto reply message that uh, you want to send your uh, visitors here you can specify uh, something like uh, thank you for visiting my website we'll get back to you soon well this auto reply message is not something mandatory but i recommend you to use it because uh, <clears throat> this will give instant gratification to your visitors and they will probably feel good about it that uh, <laughs> you will get back to get back to them so uh, it is a good idea to use it so i'll also along with the message i would want to include my name and the signature maybe so i'll save this contact form this is a very uh, useful module and very easy to configure nothing much to do here this module is now uh, enabled and i have configured this so let me show you how to use this module so uh, for accessing your contact form you need to go to the uh, url of the website in my case it is localhost slash training and uh, uh, you need to go to the contact you need to enter contact here so here it is here is the contact uh, form and uh, your users can fill their name their email address and the message uh, by default it says root which is the username of the user which i am using for uh, showing you showing you this demo uh, if the users are not logged into the website uh, they will see guest here so in my case i'll leave it as it is i'll uh, i'll send a message to myself just to show you so uh, my email address is also there if your web, website users uh, are logged in their email address will be automatically picked and filled here otherwise they can also provide a new email id and uh, i want to say hello there is option to send a copy to yourself i mean your visitors can if they want they can send a copy of this message to their email address also i'll not select it so when i say send a message okay so i get this confirmation message your message has been sent and uh, uh, let me check my email box well uh, i also want to show you this utility called paper cut which you can use to test the emails that you send from your drupal website and i'll share the url where you can download this utility well uh, as i mentioned earlier that you for for sending emails you need to have a mail server but on local uh, machine it, you would not want to install the heavy mail servers on your on your laptop maybe you can simply use the use this utility to test the email sending and uh, you know receiving so uh, here you can see that uh, uh, <clears throat> one message you have received from the website and it says root sent a message using the contact form at this location <clears throat> and here is the message and uh, there is also another email which is uh, being sent from the website to the visitor and here it says thank you for visiting my website i'll get get back to you very soon and <clears throat> here it is uh, a very simple way to add a contact form on your drupal website and uh, this is probably one of the one of the module which is being used by most of the people on our drupal uh, website so i hope now you can create your own custom contact forms not really custom 
forms because you because you are not really adding any new fields here but you can also do it i mean if you want you can also add a extra field in your contact form there are modules for doing it and uh, i'll create another video where i'll show you how to add your own field in the contact form so thank you for watching this video and have a nice day